Hotel Echo Lima Lima Oscar Good evening Live and exclusive from London, England Is it good morning? Just getting up, having breakfast um, Putting on the music Is it good afternoon? You're in the middle of work Having a day off Tidying up the house On the flat Or should I say good night and rest well And um Getting ready for the new day. Well, this is another new day and another match review um, from the Emirates. And yes, another match that I've attended as a red member. So it finished Arsenal 2, Leicester City 0. And we are back in the top four or fourth in the Premier League. So without further ado, before I go into the match review, the player ratings, including the management, the ref and the fans, I would like you to smash the thumbs up like button. That's for starters, yeah? Many thumbs up like button smashed. Make sure you help me by dropping your opinion, your response, etc. All in the comment section below where positive feedback belongs. And that's um, a demand from myself, DLG Repping. Also, share this channel all over the world, virally, to DLG Repping, yeah? That's me, myself, Dele, London, Guna, Space, Romeo, Echo, Papa, Papa, Indigo, November. Um, let's hope that your friends and relatives are watching. And if um, you're watching for the first time, share it amongst your friends and relatives and tell them to share it amongst their friends and relatives. And speaking of sharing... Subscribe to the channel. Hit that button left, right and centre. Galore, but passionately. And speaking of subscribers, shout out to yourself. I don't know where in the world you live in. I don't know what race you are, but it doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter your, where your culture is. It doesn't matter about your religion, age, gender. Welcome to my channel because you are now the 200 and... 12 subscriber to my channel and Karen I haven't forgotten you you are the 211th subscriber to my channel so Karen and um a new subscriber welcome thanks for joining on board but I appreciate the love and the support the most so thank you for subscribing and if you do subscribe I always shout you out and I'll do my best to be as consistent as possible so, without further ado, let's get into the um, match review of Arsenal 2, Leicester City 0. For me, I missed the four, first four minutes. I got into the stadium. And um, it was done by a favour. I would like to shout out. I'd like to give a shout out to a very nice and humble man in the name of Danny. Thank you for helping me out. Um, really appreciate that. And um, I hope you have a lovely week. And for the foreseeable future, carry on doing the job that you really enjoy. Um, back to the game. We were in control. I thought we were comfortable in the game. I thought there were some outstanding individual performances, especially for Martin Odegaard. Partey performed the same way that he has performed since the days of Simeone. It was like Simeone was motivating him. The way that he performed. Kieran Tierney, um, he was as solid as they came. He had um, no troubles whatsoever. And I like the um, defensive um, interception he made. Two Leicester City players going for a tapping and he got in the way as quick as possible to uh, make a defensive clearance. Well done to Tierney. But well, big well done to Martin Odegaard. He is showing the class that made Real Madrid sign him as a 15-year-old, as I said on my fan cam. And for me, he used his class and he was absolutely scintillating from start to finish, I believe. And um, every time he got onto the ball, he was, main, he was majorly the reason why we played some of the best football that we've seen all season so far. And long may it continue. And Arteta, well, give him praise again. You know, he's got them believing. He's got them liking each other. And um, 
excited to come into training and um, play football together, which is a massive um, tribute to Mikel Arteta. I had my doubts about him. Yes, I was very critical of him. Um, I didn't demand him to get the sack or but I was pushed to um, getting the uh, knife out. But for me, I think we should put the knife out, uh, put the knife away at the moment for the time being, because he is doing a very um, exceptional job and he's improved us a lot. If you said to me after the first three league games, we would end up fourth under this manager, I would have said you are effing deluded. But we're, we're in a situation where the, the top four or itself is in our hands. Or, but I'd rather the points than the games in hand. And I will continue to say that. Because I'll say it how it is. However, Leicester City, I was disappointed in, in them. I didn't think they offered us enough um, threat in front of goal. Although, having saying that, Ramsdale had to pull off um, two good saves, especially from especially from um, Harvey Barnes' header. Good save it was. And um, massive credit to Aaron Ramsdale. Commanded his box and... Yeah, very composed and confident with the ball at his feet. And as for the defence, Benjamin White made some solid tackles. Gabriel De Santos, the way he marshaled um, Kelechi Iheanacho, another striker in his pocket. How many pocket full? How many strikers has he got in that pocket of his? He's running out of space. <laughs> and Cedric, defensively, there were times where he was caught out. However. He did um, do the best he could against Harvey Barnes because he is a terrific talent, Harvey Barnes. I do rate him highly. But otherwise, um, well done to the team. Well done to the supporters, etc. So let's just, let's just get to the um, chase. Here comes the player ratings as it was 43-1. Aaron Ramsdale, two magnificent saves. Um much more uh, of a better performance than the one against Watford where he made sloppy passes. But for me, handling was superb. Amazing with the ball at his feet. Uh, even when distributing a pass, a long-range pass to Bakayo Saka. And if Saka had got that under control, wow, it would have been a complete of a, a complete pass. So confident in, um, in his ability with the ball at his feet and well commanded his area kept the defense um focused so i'm going to give him an eight um cedric suarez i did say earlier he was caught out at times with the ball over the top and um found wanting but however um he improved as the game grew um in support of um, Bakayo Saka, when Saka was attacking um, the right-hand side, he was there to support if he needed um, if he needed assistance. And, yeah, he put a low cross in. Like I said, miss hit his shot or whatever he did. But it did um, cause Leicester's defence a lot of problems with um, Thomas Parter hitting the, the bar. So, and he contributed towards that. I'm going to give him... I'll tell you what, I'm going to give him a seven and a half, Cedric Suarez. Benjamin White, a colossus as um, per usual, made vital um, interceptions, won his headers, um, wasn't rushing the tackle, uh, won his um, fair, well, he won um, crucial tackles, made good interceptions as well. For me, I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Gabriel Dos Santos Magalis, for me. Absolutely excellent. Terrific with the ball at his feet. Defending, marshalled um, the defence for me as solid as possible. And for me, he gets a good mention for me. Defended like like he's in, like he's still playing in the in ah, like he's still performing like he's in the cages of the favelas. And well, 
he handled himself, mate. He handled himself against um, Leicester's attackers, like he did when um, two arm robbers tried to um, take certain things from him, and he stood up and punched one of them in the face. Frigging good. Anyway, I'm gonna give this guy an eight. Um, said so, um, no, so Kieran Tierney. Brilliant defensively, I thought. And offensively, you know, just as good. Um, maybe we didn't see enough of him going um, forward, but overall, he was um, concentrated. He was focused for the whole game, and I do like his attitude as well. And um, when he received the armband from, I think, um, Emil Smith Rowe, he wore it. And he wore it with pride. I'm going to give um, Kieran Tierney an 8. Right, moving on to the midfield. Um, Thomas Partey. Excellent. He was close to getting my man of the match. But I know who my man of the match is. I already said his name. Anyway, if you've got um, a man of the... If you've got um, a mention for who should be Arsenal's man of the match, leave it in the comment section below. But for me... I would say Partey eight and a half. The interceptions, the duels one, pass completion, the bulk of his passes out of fifty six I've seen from a stat form um Oh, what was the tactical insight show by James B and Graham Brooks. Shout out to yourself, James B and Graham Brooks and Brooks. Sorry. Um Brilliant show, by the way. Shout out to you two. Anyway, um, looking at his overall play, I'm going to give him an eight and a half. And I'm a guy who's really fair and balanced. I will give halves. Greenwich Xhaka, for me, very comfortable. He was very comfortable. And he's not doing anything wrong to suggest that Mikel Arteta should... Um, dropping from the team. In training, he must be showing Arteta certain things to not make them, to not make the manager himself drop him, put him on the bench. And you can see in his own performances why um, he is starting to win over the fans and why his partnership with Thomas Partey is really blossoming in. And their understanding is more terrific by the games that go by. And I thought his performance was um, very good. Very good. I'm going to give him an eight. Greenwich Shaka. He had a shot that went over the bar, but, you know, that's what we like to see. We like to see more shots um, from outside the um, penalty box. And Shaka can hit them. And when he hits them nicely, bloody hell, they stay hit in the back of the net. Right. Um, the attacking three in front of those two who played the pivot. But Kyle Saka, what can I say? I can't speak any highly of this guy. The ability to take man on, as tight as the defender was, he, he span him, run rings around him, shoved him off, shrugged him off the ball. And ran directly at the Leicester defence. Like to say he was going to score a beautiful solo Messi goal. <laughs> it was that good to see. For me, I'm going to give him an eight and a half. Martin on the guard, man of the match. Nine and a half. I'm going to give him that nine and a half. He was absolutely scintillating. He's link up play. The... Um, Build up to some of the best football that we've seen this season. He's he should have had an assist because Martin and he should have had a goal. And I'm going to come on to him in a moment. Otherwise, um, he was absolutely excellent. A nine and a half. Martin Ellie, before he came off, I thought he caused um Ricardo Pereira all ends of problems, and I mean all ends of problems. In the first half, he battled with Pereira to get the ball and he bullied him off the ball and the referee blows for a foul. Nah, that's unacceptable. It was a legitimate battle won by Gabriel Martinelli and um, 
he should have been made to play on. Never mind. It didn't affect the result as such. Or Martin and his performance. He kept going, works hard, his work rate, second to none. I'm going to reward him with a, an eight. Alexander Lacazette, world taken penalty. And his um, work rate and his presence was there to to really give um, the Leicester back three or the back four problems, all end of problems. And his link-up play, especially when he dropped to the midfield, was exceptional. But he did find some good, smart passes. And that's um, the Lacazette that we grow to love. And I'm delighted that he's got another Premier League goal. Yes, from 12 yards, but my word, he struck it well nicely. Top beans. Lacazette, eight. Nicola Pepe, well, he came on. Um, I won't say he had much of an impact, but I think the job was done. I'm going to give him a standard... I'm going to give him a standard five and a half. Who else came on? Oh, oh come on, come on. Martin only came off for... Um, Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, he had more of an impact than Pepe, and I enjoyed um, the moment where he got right outside of the, the Leicester defender at the near post... On his right foot, what um, falls Schmeichel into a good save. I'm going to give him a six and a half for the impact that he had alone over Pepe. And the other player, Eddie Nketia, I can't really mark him. He didn't have that much to do. You know, I didn't think he made any um, contribution. So I'm going to give him a standard five. Right, the manager... Spot on with his tactics. Um, had, um, yeah, he had us um, on the front foot for the most of the game. Although there was a spell where we um, defended well when we needed to. And that's due to the back four doing their jobs. Had Partey working hard off the ball. Odegaard, the press as well. All um, under his um, clear instructions, and you can see that the drills that he, you can see the drills that he's um, implementing. It works on on the match day, so I'm going to give Mikel Arteta a nine. He's got it spot on. Um, the referee, he just about gets a six, um, and that was no. Oh, I'm going to give him no. I'm going to give him a five. Not the best. But definitely not the worst. Um, the only credit I'll give him is for going over to VAR and having a look. But then again, that was on the initiative of the other referee in Stockley Park. So it, uh, it took it took him five minutes, and it should have taken him less than a lot less than five minutes to make, go over to the VAR VAR monitor screen and have a look at um, the incident that um, got us that penalty. However. We got the penalty in the end, and which was smashed into the, into the top bins by Lacazette. But I'm giving the referee a five and a half. The fans, I'll give a nine. Um, yes, they did get behind the team. Uh, they were vocal. The clock in the south stand. I have to say, well done to you guys. You got right behind the team. Urged them, the players on, and I'm, and I'm sure the players were very aware of the the vocal support. And um, yeah, you kept the um, the boys going. And come Wednesday night, we're gonna need a ten out of ten performance from the whole fans, even myself. Even if it means I lose my voice, so be it. Even if it means I go on fan cam again, losing my voice, so be it. It's gonna be needed. So yeah, nine out of ten for the fans. Right, I guess I've got to wrap this up now and say ladies and gentlemen to the boys to the girls, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for um, watch, um, listening and saving the best to last, as I always do say. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Always a pleasure. Um, yeah, take care of your friends, take care of your families, take care of yourselves. Peace, love and bless again. 
and um, stay warm and keep yourself good. Until next time, I'll be back again, maybe with another content, maybe tonight, later on, or tomorrow um, in the afternoon when I get back from work. Until then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And from um, and um, until next time, the OG Repping, we're going to chat again. Just stay safe and please just be nice.